Jade says, I am nine years old. My birthday is in July. Lauren says, I am two years younger than Jade. My birthday is in January. Write Jade and Lauren in the correct places on this sorting diagram. So first, let's look at Jade. She's nine years old, so she'll be in this row here, because that's the row for children with an age of nine years old. And her birthday is in July, so she needs to be in this column here, because that's a birthday month of July to December. So Jade needs to be written here to show if we go to the left that she's nine years old and if we go up that her birthday month is from July to December. Now Lauren is two years younger than Jade. So if Jade is nine years old and Lauren is younger, Lauren will be less than nine years old. And her birthday is in January, so she'll need to be in this column here. So Lauren is in this section to show that she's less than nine years old and her birthday is between January and June. Sapna makes up a game using seven cards. Here are the cards. Josh picks a card without looking. If Josh picks an odd number, then Sapna scores a point. If Josh picks an even number, then Josh scores a point. Is this a fair game? Explain how you know. So it's not fair, because remember, odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9, and even numbers end in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. So 1 is odd, 2 is even, and if we see what's even and what's odd, we can see that there are 4 odd numbers, but only 3 even numbers. So Sapna scores on more than half of the cards, so it's not a fair game. The scale shows how much Mrs. Patel weighs. How much does Mrs. Patel weigh? So to understand this scale, we need to understand what these little lines on our scale represent. Now to get from zero to 10, we have two lines and 10 divided by two is five, so that means each line is an increase of five. So we have zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. So this arrow here is pointing to 65. So that means Mrs. Patel weighs 65 kilograms. Here are some sentences about an amount of money. Mark each sentence with a tick if it is correct, put a cross if it is not correct. First, one pound three pence can be made with exactly one coin. That's not correct because there's not a one pound three pence coin. Now, one pound three pence can be made with exactly two coins. That's not correct either because though we have a one pound coin, we do not have a three pence coin. Now, one pound three pence can be made with exactly three coins. That's true because we have a one pound coin, a two pence coin, and a one pence coin. And if we put these three coins together, we get one pound three pence. And finally, one pound three pence can be made with exactly four coins. That's true as well because we can have a 50 pence coin, another 50 pence coin, so that's one pound, a two pence coin, and a one pence coin, so that's three pence. Or we could have a one pound coin, and then three one pence coins, because three one pence coins will total three pence, so that's four coins to give us one pound three pence. Look at these shapes. Explain why the shapes are hexagons. So a hexagon is a shape with six sides. So these shapes are all hexagons because they all have six sides. Some children drew this graph. Sarah has read 12 books and Leela nine books. 
show these on the graph. So we need to draw the line for Sarah and for Leela. Sarah has read 12 books, so if we go across from 12, we can see that Sarah's line will need to be this high. And Leela has read 9 books, so 9 will be in the middle of 8 and 10. So if we go across, we can see that Leela's line will need to be this high. Now Javed has read more books than Tom. How many more? So we can see that Javed has read 15 books, because that's between 14 and 16, and Tom has read between 4 and 6, so that's 5 books. Now the question asks how many more, so we need to find the difference, to find how many more 15 is than 5, and to find the difference we can subtract. 15 minus 5 is 10, so Javed has read 10 more books than Tom. Use the signs minus, plus and equals. You can use each sign more than once. Write signs in the boxes to make these correct. So first we have 25, 19 and 6. 25 minus 19 is 6, but there is another possible solution for these boxes because we can have 25 equals 19 plus 6. 19 plus 6 is 25, and normally we have the equal sign at the end of a calculation, but we can have the equal sign at the start, because what this means is 25 is equal to, so the same as 19 plus 6. And now we have 15, 15 and 0. 15 minus 15 is 0, so we can have minus and equals, or we could have 15 equals 15 plus 0, because if you plus 0, the number doesn't change, and if you subtract 0, the number doesn't change either, so we could have 15 equals 15 minus 0 as well. Write these numbers in order, starting with the smallest. So we have 0 0.6, 3 tenths, 0 0.2 and 9 tenths. So we have some decimals and some numbers written as fractions. But we can change fractions to decimals because we know that the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have. And we're given fractions which have a denominator of 10. So 3 tenths is the same as 0 0.3, because this 3 in the decimal tells us how many tenths we have. And 9 tenths is the same as 0 0.9. So now we can see that 0 0.2 is our smallest number, then we have 0 0.3, which they've written as 3 tenths, then 0 0.6, and then our largest number is 0 0.9, which is the same as 9 tenths.